Right, you lot, it's been a long, it's been a long time since I've done a transfer target video. The reason being, we ain't signed anybody. Um, we've had a look at people, uh, we've had rumours of people. The strongest, most tangible target bid we've had is James Tarkovsky. James Tarkovsky, he's an England international, he's played for Burnley uh, for a number of years now, he's a solid defender. Um, and I thought I will have a look at him and see whether he can fit into a West Ham side. <laughs> I'm laughing because, let's be honest, he can. Um, you don't have to be an expert to, to figure that out. But I watched a lot of his highlights. Very aggressive. I like it. I like it. I think when we're looking at a defender to come in, he's potentially going to replace someone like Issa Diop alongside Ogbonna. It would make sense, him being right-footed and playing on the right side of defence. His aggressiveness um, is, is a real positive thing for me if he's going to play on that right-hand side because... If we still stick with Fredericks and he pushes up way too high, I think Tarkovsky's ability to read the game, to close the distance and to do so very quickly is going to protect that back four a little bit more than it has been previously. And he can form a partnership with someone like Angelo or Bonner, whereby the two of them are able to support the fullbacks. His positioning as well is something that I was really impressed with. His ability um, to position himself just right, um, to stop the cutback, um, to close the distance between himself and the winger, to double up with the fullback, it's quality. Um, he, he understands where he needs to be in order to put pressure on the attacker. He knows when to close the distance. He knows when to anticipate um, them either making a pass or taking a shot, hence why his blocks are so high. He's really um, probably one of the most impressive defenders I've seen in a long time, natural defenders. I think we look at Burnley and say, well, listen, they're a, they're a defensive side, they've got Nick Pope, that's why they get the clean sheets. But to be honest, this bloke is, is a big reason why um, they are as defensively solid as they are. James Tarkovsky is also he's a threat from, from set pieces. A couple of times, particularly against West Ham, he's able to get past the defender. Um, he wins a lot of the headers that he goes for, so he's able to knock it down for the striker. He is a threat in the box. We know, we know Moyes is going to employ a side that looks at set pieces as a main chance of scoring goals. Um, equally, he's very good defensively in terms of his aerial ability. Um, he's won the most headers in the league, um, which is an, an incredibly impressive stat. Listen, James Tarkovsky, there's no doubt, would offer so much to our defence compared to um, Issa Diop. I think Issa Diop is a very raw centre-back. He's physically very good. Um, there are question marks over his positioning on some of the set pieces, his positioning um, in supporting the fullbacks. He is aggressive, he can bring the ball out from the back, but he doesn't tend um, to be defensively switched on as we'd like. Um, I think for me, Tarkovsky is a more intelligent centre back, and I think that's why I would love to see him in a West Ham shirt because alongside Angelo Hubbonner, a seasoned vet, a guy that knows when to press up, when to sit back. That partnership would be really good, and Tarkovsky is 27 now. He's played in the Premier League for a number of years. He's played at international level. Um, th there's no doubt that he would be a massive acquisition for us. Now, another thing as well that probably would get missed out of a player like Tarkovsky because he plays for Burnley is the fact that he's comfortable in possession. Um, and Listen, I don't think West Ham are going to start playing out from the back. We're, we're not a Liverpool. We're not a Manchester City. We don't have that ability to do so. But he is comfortable in keeping hold of the ball. And sometimes when I watch Diop when he's under pressure, he can make a rash tackle, um, he can make the wrong pass. Tarkovsky generally keeps the ball quite well. I know people remember the Arnautovic error he made a couple of seasons ago. If you watch his highlights, he doesn't make too many errors. He's very dependable. That's hugely important going into the season. The negative, if there is a negative for some player like Tarkovsky, is... His aggressiveness may see him be pushed out of position. I think he's mobile enough, if, if I'm honest, to, to cut the space and win the ball. Um, he reads the game very well, but against teams that potentially play with, with multiple midfield players, I'm thinking Manchester City, I'm thinking potentially Leeds on the counter. Um, he may get picked off. I think where the caveat to that comes is if West Ham play with Suchek and Rice sitting in front of Ogbonna and Tarkovsky, it's going to be very difficult for teams to break us down. Because ultimately, those four players are defensively very switched on, aggressive, win a lot of tackles, win a lot of interceptions, win a lot in the air. It would be an incredibly strong spine of the team. That's why I'm, I'm massively um, for this signing. Um, do I think it will happen? No, I don't think it will happen. I don't think Tarkovsky will come to West Ham. It's, it's been interesting to see him suggest that he needs to move on. 
in order to pursue his England career. I'd have to agree with that. Of course, the argument is we need the left back in and we need striker reinforcements. Completely agree. Completely agree. If I was David Moyes, I would be looking at both those positions and saying, listen, we need to improve those as soon as possible. The argument, and the only possible argument I've got to that is Tarkovsky is that much of an improvement at centre back. Um, and, and with the right players in front of him, like a Declan Rice and a Suchek, West Ham could be defensively solid enough um, to deal with the with our poor fullbacks. I think it's like, that's a te- that's a terrible outlook to take that we have to deal with poor players within our squad. I completely agree, and I think Moyes could remedy these issues quite easily if he brought in um, a good left back and, and potentially another right back. So that was my take on James Tarkovsky. Um, I will do another transfer target video if we go in for somebody. I imagine from what X has said that we are looking at someone. It could be more imminent than we think. It'd be one of them ones that just jumps out of nowhere. I think there's legs in this. Um, whether or not we'll get over the line. I'm very sceptical about Until next time, until the football moaning, take care.